in our study of globalization, we've been thinking about sovereign wealth funds. So here's a quick primer on the question, what are sovereign wealth funds? Well, basically, a sovereign wealth fund is a state-owned or government-owned investment fund, uh, commonly funded by a government that runs a huge budget surplus or a big trade surplus. You can generate extra revenues, extra funds of dollars and euros and yen from your natural resources that you might export to the rest of the world, building up foreign currency reserves. The funds, the sovereign wealth funds, typically are put to work uh, through investment overseas, they can work as stabilisers when the economy is subject to cyclical fluctuations. Or, and this is the dominant theme, I think, the aim of a sovereign wealth fund is to provide long-term security for the national economy. A good example is the Norge Bank. The aim of the Norwegian Oil Fund is to ensure, according to their Websites, responsible and long-term management of revenue from their significant oil and gas resources so that this wealth built into natural capital benefits both current and future generations. Now, the Norwegian Sovereign Wealth Fund is huge, as we'll see in a minute. It is the biggest in the world. In fact, given its value, it holds on average about 1.5% of all the world's listed companies. The second biggest sovereign wealth fund in the world is the China Investment Corporation, CIC, a sovereign wealth fund that manages part of the uh, People's Republic of China's foreign exchange reserves, and they have trillions of dollars of foreign exchange reserves. CIC, for example, has made many investments Overseas, it buys U.S. government bonds. It uh, has stakes in hedge funds. Uh, it buys uh, lots of assets around the world, including, for example, a stake, a minority stake in Heathrow Airport in London. And as of July 2022, these are the biggest 10 sovereign wealth funds in the world, um, organised, ranked by assets under management. You can see that three of them are in China. Uh, the Norwegian Central uh, Sovereign Wealth Fund is the biggest, Norwich Bank Investment Management, then CIC, State Administration of FX in China, Abu Dhabi, Singapore, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Hong Kong, and of course Qatar in the news recently with the World Cup, the Qatar Investment Authority. So this is great uh, knowledge and application to have, just to be aware of who some of these sovereign wealth funds are. They manage, well, trillions of dollars of assets around the world. Well, finally, what are some of the advantages from having a sovereign wealth fund? A lot of people think the UK should have taken advantage of the riches of North Sea oil and gas in the 1970s and 1980s to establish their own sovereign wealth fund, as Norway did, in fact, in 1990. Well, basically, if you have a sovereign wealth fund, uh, it allows you to invest in assets owned overseas. And th that money, if the investment is... Uh, successful and effective, that provides a flow of income back into your country. And uh, if you're familiar with national income measurements, it should lift a country's GNI per capita, because GNI is GDP plus net property income from overseas assets. Those higher incomes, higher per capita incomes, can also significantly boost government's tax revenues. So that can uh, mean, for example, that taxes perhaps don't have to be as high as they would otherwise be. Crucially, the sovereign wealth funds could help to promote economic diversification, particularly for countries heavily dependent on oil and gas. And they could also help cushion an economy after an external shock. If the world price of your leading export goes down, for example, you have a sovereign wealth fund or a stabilisation fund, perhaps to inject some extra spending into infrastructure or other projects within your domestic economy. And increasingly, this is something I think is worth being aware of, uh, the, the sheer scale of these funds can also be used actively to promote environmental and social aims. Although most sovereign wealth funds are fairly passive in terms of how the money is invested, uh, the Norwegian Investment Fund has just announced right at the end of 2022 that they now plan to vote against companies in which they have a stake that fail to set a net zero emissions target, that overpay their top executives or who do not have sufficiently diverse boards. So signs that uh, perhaps the Norwegian 
uh, sovereign wealth fund, the biggest in the world, is going to be more proactive in terms of environmental and social aims and issues. That'll be worth uh, watching. But I think just to be aware of sovereign wealth funds is a really good thing to have in your revision notes if you're studying macroeconomics and globalisation. Hope you found this useful. Quick primer on sovereign wealth funds. If you did, please please press like, subscribe. We love that. And uh, maybe ring the notification bell to get advance notice of new videos. Stay safe, stay happy, stay positive. See you sometime soon.